Welcome to Moonshadow Replay. I'm your host, J Moonshadow. Sonic Timber is over, and we now move on to October, where I review some spooky games. I mean, maybe they're not that spooky, but these are fun games nonetheless. Today I'll be looking into Super Castlevania 4 for the Super Nintendo. With that, let's jam. I'll be honest here, this is the only Castlevania game that I beat from start to finish. It's not an easy game by any means, but it's certainly easier than the earlier games in the series. This whip is a very powerful tool, you can whip it sideways, up and down, and even diagonally. Whipping baddies to death just feels so good. Flip can even be used as a swing by latching it onto these rings. There are some useful sub-weapons as well, like the axe and the cross, but I usually get more use out of the whip than anything else. And this knife is just useless. Give me back my cross! Getting hit by anything will result in Simon Belmont getting knocked back, and at certain times, this can be fatal. Falling off the screen means death. You also have very limited health, so don't rush into a bad situation blindly. Observe the surroundings carefully before proceeding, and keep an eye out for the breakable walls that contain chicken roasts, or drumsticks. Don't worry, they're already pre-cooked and ready for eating. Don't try to question it too much, just eat it. Simon can also walk up and down stairs. But did you also know that he can moonwalk the stairs? I mean, maybe you already knew that, but whatever. It doesn't stop it from being so fun to do. Have I not mentioned how good this music is? Whenever I feel like I would lose the motivation to play Castlevania after dying and dying and getting game over so much, the music always draws me back into it. It doesn't even matter if I'm crying bloody tears, I just love this music. So, is this game spooky? Not really, but you do see some classic horror monsters, like Medusa, Frankenstein's monster, and if you somehow make it to the end of the game, you face off against death, and then finally, Dracula. Take some time to memorize their patterns and attack when it's safe to do so. Eventually, they'll all go down to Simon's trusty whip or whatever he's using. Partway through the final battle with Dracula, his strategy changes up a little bit, but it's not really any harder than what you've already dealt with. But at this point, you might be low on health from this long, exhausting battle. Regardless, once Dracula's HP reaches zero, you've beaten the game. This is a really good game. However, the penalty for getting a game over isn't good, and it's not like it's an easy game either. But if you're looking for something old school and challenging, I do recommend giving Super Castlevania 4 a shot. Anyways, that is it for this week's video. Be sure to smash that like button below if you liked it, smash that subscribe button, and ring that bell to keep notified when I post new videos. You can also help by sharing this video to your friends, and help spread the word of my channel. I release these episodes weekly every Friday, and your support would help my channel grow. 
Also be sure to follow me on Twitter at jmoonshadow to find out when I'll be streaming and to keep updated on everything Moonshadow Replay. With that, jmoonshadow is signing out. See ya!